front view will have personal passwords on it. Pattern like this, or a pin, uh, or even a fingerprint. So normally, you just put in your pattern, and off you go. But more often than we'd like to, we sometimes forget these patterns or passwords. This little video is to show you what you can do when this happens. But, as with a lot of tips and tricks, these steps can be of use. So we are just providing this information for rightful owners of these devices who are simply just stuck. So, on this phone, you can see we've you know, customized it a bit, changed the desktop background, and you know, it's not exactly out of the box. Now, with the lock screen, let's say you forgot your pin, or in this case, your pattern. You try it several times, and you, you, you've forgotten it. Now, you're given this option here, the backup pin, to recover your password. Now, in most cases, that's going to be even more difficult to remember, and it's, it's simply not going to help us in finding out what your password is. So, what you can do is what's called a factory reset. So how you do that is you turn off the phone by pressing the power button, power off the phone, Let's give it a few seconds to turn off, and once it's off, we're going to need three buttons to put this phone into what's called the recovery mode. So we have the home button, the volume up key, and the power button. What we're going to do is press all three buttons at the same time and hold it. So I'm going to press the home button, volume, and the power button at the same time. When the screen turns on, we can let go of the buttons. And this little Android animation will come up. Give it a few seconds. Now while we're waiting for this, you can just see it's glass back. It's got some fingerprints on it now. With that camera placement's real nice. It's curved along the edges, the bottom. What I like about it is the volume is on the bottom instead of the back, in pre unlike previous Samsungs. Okay, so now we have the screen here. So what we're looking for is the factory reset, which is right there. You'll note that the touch screen doesn't work. So up here, I'll tell you the instructions on how to navigate this screen. Volume up and down to move, and the power button to select. So we're going to pick factory reset here. So I'm going to press the volume down button to move down until we're on to factory reset. And then now, I'll just press the power button, and then it'll ask me to confirm whether I want to continue with this. So there will be a bunch of no's, and there'll be one yes just to make sure you don't accidentally factory reset your phone. We're going to click yes and select with the power button once again and it will start formatting the phone. Now, just as a warning, this will delete all the information that's on your phone um, and as a safety precaution, um, if this were to be done by someone who found your phone, they wouldn't be able to see your old messages, your old pictures, um, as it will be wiped before they will be able to use it. So, once it's done, it will say data wipe complete, and we can reboot the system. So once again, we'll use the power button to press that, and it will turn off and reboot. So now, when it turns back on, it's going to take a little bit longer. It's as if it's a brand new phone, you just took it out of the box,
So we'll have to load whatever it needs to load when it's first turning on. So what you'll see is the screen that first comes up on the phone when you first um, bought the phone. So we'll just skip through all of the information here. Skip. So you'll note here that it'll allow you to actually put on a new password, new screen lock. But just to just for the purpose of this video, we're just going to skip that. should be able to go to the home screen. As you notice before we had the orange background and now we're back to the original blue background that came with the phone. So essentially the phone's wiped. It's a completely um, original phone um, and now you can start using it. Now I'm going to press the lock screen and just to show you there's no more password, there's no more pin um, when you try to turn on the phone. Swipe to unlock, you're back onto the home screen. So there's just a little video for you guys. Um, if you're ever stuck and you forget your password, your PIN, and there's no way for you to just access your phone, um, it's unfortunate that you lose your files, your contacts, well, unless you've saved it in Google, uh, you'll lose your, your contacts as well. But you'll definitely lose your messages, the, the apps you've installed, um, depending on where you save your photos, you might also lose that. But at least this way, you get a fresh start, you get to use your phone again, and that should be useful for some of you folks out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's useful to some of you. And have a good one.